Hey, Vinyl Community, what's going on? Welcome back. This is Hub Tunes. I am Mike. Um, March Vinyl Finds. Um, I'm continuing on my 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 new year no i don't do resolutions my my new attitude towards buying vinyl <laughs> i'm trying to listen to more of the stuff behind me i'm trying to be a little more selective with what i purchase because budgets um yeah i i i'm just trying to be much much more selective and um i think i'm doing pretty good <laughs> i'm now only going to the record store every other week kind of um so I bought, yeah, no, I just have a small stack. I used to do these vinyl finds and I would have like, <laughs> I would have literally like <laughs> 20 records. I don't do that anymore. And it's kind of nice. It's it's kind of, it's really nice actually. Um, so anyway, I'm just gonna, um, yeah, I got a stack of a couple of things and then um, we'll be out of here. Um, this is um, uh, Jim White. I showed one of his records, um, holding it the wrong way. Yeah, that's the right way. It's hard to tell with this bizarre artwork. This is Jim White. Um, I showed uh, a record of his um, in one of my previous videos. Uh, Mazzy turned me on to this guy. He's a really cool, interesting, interesting artist. Very Americana, but quirky. Um, genuine, authentic, kind of just down home folky storytelling music and i really dig him uh this album is called his albums always have very bizarre titles uh this is misfits jubilee that's not that bizarre <laughs> uh but this is pretty cool i believe this is his most recent record his um his catalog has not really been released on vinyl. I think there's i think it's this one and maybe one other record um so definitely Definitely really, really like this guy, Jim White. I picked up this. I have, I used to have this on CD, and I, I, I finally picked it up on vinyl. I, so I got it for a really good deal. This is Isaac Hayes' Hot Buttered Soul. The first side of this record will melt your brain. It is so damn good. Uh, he does a cover of uh, Walk On By, which is like 12 minutes long. It is absolutely fantastic. Um, just a terrific, terrific soul funky soul record a little psychedelic soul it's really really good classic record um and then everything else i think i have is um oh i'll, I'll do this one next nope i'll do this one next this is my find of the month i love this record um it's a very expensive like you cannot find um originals of this they, they're super super expensive but this is and i'm gonna pronounce it wrong Samadre? <laughs> Samadre? <laughs> this is British Psychedelic Funk. Uh, I think it came out in 71. It is a Jesus, gatefold. Really, really cool artwork. Uh, this is a fun, fun record. It is wild. It is, uh, I mean, there's like 12 guys in this band. It is funky. It is African British. 70s funk it, it is absolutely fantastic this is one of my favorite records i have bought in the last couple of years i absolutely adore this record and it got it really cheap um it was not expensive um it is on colored vinyl um came in a polyline sleeve and all that crap pretty cool colored vinyl uh, this reissue, I think it just came out this year. Uh, I've never seen it before, and I've kind of been looking for this record. Um, like I said, originals are really, really expensive. Um, so great, great British African funk. <laughs> um, everything else is jazz. No, this is not. This is a band from Paraguay? Uh, Steve Carlson, the amazing Steve Carlson. Check out his channel. He shows awesome, awesome stuff. He always turns me on to really cool shit. Uh, this is a band called Los Cobras, and it is their first first album. Uh, it's called Temporal. This is psychedelic Peruvian <laughs> music. It is really cool. They they sing in English. Um, absolutely fantastic artwork. 
Um, you know, is this thing going to light your world on fire? No. Is it one of the greatest psychedelic records of all time? No. Uh, but it's a really, really solid record. I got this from, what is it? Fuzz, Fuzz Club or something like that. I don't know. Um, and it was really cheap. It was only like $15, but then the shipping was also $15. So it was a $30 record, but, um, Los Cobras highly recommend them. Stream them. They're pretty cool. And everything else is jazz. Yeah, I got four more records and they're all jazz. I picked uh, up the Blue Note. Blue Note Sam Rivers from last week, I think I picked it up. Uh, this thing is phenomenal. I'm trying to be a little more selective. I'm not buying every classic reissue. And I'm actually going to start skipping a couple of the Tone Poets just because of space and money. Uh, but man, when this came out, I had to pick it up. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous record. First of all, the sound on this is absolutely phenomenal. It's probably one of the best sounding classic uh, reissues. Uh, and this, this music is even better. Uh, Jackie Bird, Sam Rivers, obviously, uh, Ron Carter and Anthony Williams on drums. Uh, this is this is a must, must get. I highly recommend it. It's one of my favorite Blue Note classic reissues. This is, um, this next one's a tone poet. Um, it, it, it's not my favorite of the Andrew Hill releases. I love Andrew Hill, but I, I, I like, I like the other ones that they've done as tone poets a little bit better than this, but this is beautiful. Really, really smooth. Just a really sweet, sweet sounding record. I, absolutely love it um colored photos in the gatefold on this one which is uh, nice for a change um we got charles tolliver on trumpet who i adore uh joe farrell who i also adore on tenor sax and soprano sax andrew hill on piano victor sproles on bass and billy higgins on drums really really interesting record um but like i said i do prefer the other two tone poets that he released uh passing ships is probably my favorite but um pretty cool I, and I picked it up because I, I do love Andrew Andrew Hill uh, this is the best tone poet I've heard in a very very long time this is one of the best sounding tone poets I think they've released and it's also just a fun it's a party record it, it, it's upbeat it, it's just like a hard bop and that is the remarkable Carmel Jones I'm sure people have been talking about this in the vinyl community this is a really really cool record i do not have any i don't have any uh carmel jones this is the only carmel jones record i have and um he's really really good and who's it got on here uh we got carmel jones on trumpet harold land on tenor uh frank strazari on piano gary peacock the great gary peacock on bass and leon pettis on drums so it's it's not a lineup that i have a lot of stuff of and i'm blown away by this this thing also sounds Freaking, freaking amazing. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, very, very good. Uh, West Coast Jazz on Pacific Label, on the Pacific Label, not on Tompo, or not on um, Blue Note like, you know, most of the others. Really, really good stuff. Highly, highly recommend this. If you guys see it out there, grab it. And then this was kind of a, I wasn't going to, I wasn't going to pick this up. And, you know, I don't know. It's good. Uh, I, I like it. I like it. But this is a uh, Blues Nick. Jackie McLean. Uh, this has uh, Freddie Hubbard, who I love, and it's got Kenny Drew, who I absolutely love. That's really, and it's got Pete LaRocca. Some of the players I really, really gravitate towards. Uh, so I, I didn't, I, I didn't pass it up. I picked it up, and it, it's, it's really good. Um, is it one that I needed? Mm, probably not, but I'm really enjoying it. So that's all that matters, and that's it. That's all I got for uh, Vinyl Finds for March 2023. Um, yeah, so we're uh, we're in April. We got Record Store Day coming in a few weeks. Um, my other channel, the Vinyl Gunkles, is uh, Vinyl Community Gunkles, I think it's called, <laughs> is uh, chugging along. So we're still making a video every week on that and uh, having a fun, fun time doing it. It's a, it's a blast, actually. So um, you guys... Stay safe, stay well, and I will talk to you very soon. Bye.